Hi, George. Hi there, Bernie. How are you? Well, this is the thing that everyone's been talking about. It's, it's, it's the, as far as I can gather, the Schaefer computerized radio system. Uh, can you tell us just, a, firstly, what it does? And the first thing, it's not a computer. Oh, isn't it? Oh. No, it's a sequential electronic memory. All it does is take the whole day in a series of step-by-step -step movements, mm. which is the same thing we do. Right. Uh, except when we get afraid yeah. and scared and neurotic, which well, it doesn't do. Getting down to very basics, this machine can and does program a radio station for a day without any physical or other help during the day from a disc jockey. What it does is concentrate energy. Uh, being in a radio station, in a typical radio program which plays music, involves essentially 55 minutes an hour of watching a vinyl disc go around in circles. From a disc jockey's point of view. From a disc jockey's yeah. point of view. Uh, there's a lot of moving from left to right and a lot of physical things. What this machine allows the disc jockey to do is to work on his material uninterrupted by watching a vinyl disc go around. It's much the same thing that uh, an electric dishwasher would allow a housewife to do, or a forklift would allow a person who works on the, on the docks, a wharfy, I believe you call right, him. Right. In other words, it allows him to get the most done with his time yeah. with a minimum amount of dehumanizing um, right. routine. <coughs> For instance, if you were going to do uh, a beautiful music program uh, where there are long numbers of records played, with a uh, minimal amount of announcer work, I think probably you could do the whole day. Uh, on the other hand, if there's more personality involved, you need, usually need to be closer to the events. So he might come in and lay down the first hour on a, on a tape, and then do other things, maybe prepare to do a better second Next hour. Uh, the, the amount of separation from, the amount of separation from the time of, air, of going to air to the actual uh, putting it on is, is dependent on the requirements. Uh, it, he might do it five minutes before it goes on the air. For instance, suppose a big news story comes on, or related to news. If a big news story to come on the air, he might well uh, put the first amount, put it on the machine, and while it's being aired to the folks, he might be out getting more. So the, the concept is not to say do the whole day at once, but to do things as they become available and make better use of the time to provide more. The award-winning sound of the wonder, the boy wonder, Stevie Wonder and my Cherie Amour. where the memories mean music. She was a wild young thing. She was ready to swing. She was eyeballing me down my long body. She got to my shoes and started to lose. I thought, oh boy, she's a Winter Smith shoe friend. I split through the door to a Winter Smith store. I said to the man, hey, get off the can and make me walk tall. Listen, I remember that a girl really wanted to impress a man. She always put on a very best night on Who else did you ever want to impress? You'd be surprised. Serving Sydney's western suburbs, 2KA, 25 past the hour. 2KA. More good Australian talent. Kevin Johnson, a great new song, the man of the 20th century. Riding along in 747, thinking the heavens are looking just fine. Whiskey and coke. The whole thing is programmed on uh, a linotype machine here. Yeah, what happens is. You type in the program here, and as you type it, a tape <clears throat> such as this is made, and then it's put back in there, which is programmed into the machine. But that can be altered at any minute. Uh, you could do the whole day's basic program, and yet change it just moments before it went on the air, which in fact actually occurs. Yes. Apparently in Australia at the moment there are five machines which are programming stations automatically, but this is the first one of this type. Uh, now, if that's the case, how many machines of this type are running in the United States? 
There are about 2,000 radio stations in the United States that are programmed uh, with gear in this order. Maybe more, maybe 2,500. Uh, the number is growing, but the, uh, the types of stations and their programming is extremely varied. And many stations, uh, who may not, which may not be entirely automated, that is 24 hours a day, will use certain aspects of it for their program. And a lot of this gear is utilized in association with live that is moment to moment programming. Yeah, so it's an expensive piece of equipment. Is it? Sixty thousand dollars. Right. Uh, we mentioned earlier that it's not supplanting uh, disc jockeys. It's allowing them more freedom of time to actually, rather than watch discs go around. Well, so is the difference worth it? Automation in itself has no content. Uh, it it can be utilized to. Uh, operate with minimum personnel, it can be utilized to ma operate with maximum personnel. I, I wasn't suggesting that it couldn't supplant people. Uh, it has never been very successful in supplanting human beings in the United States, and that doesn't mean it couldn't be here. But in itself, it is nothing less, uh, nothing more than just a piece of metal with an electronic memory. What people do with it... It's uh, a facility for people. It is a facility for people to utilize as they will. Almost 20 years in the business, the group that still makes the hits, the solid gold sound of the drifters. On 2KA, 26 minutes to the hour. Mm -hmm.